right, so here she is, the UFC strawweight queen, Zhang Wei Li, has that first defense. Well, not since the great Mackenzie Dern have we had a woman with this type of Brazilian jiu-jitsu pedigree cross into the UFC. And a lot of people are as excited as they were when Mackenzie signed several years ago. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you look at these women, they may not be at the same level because Mackenzie is as good a grappler as we've ever seen coming to the UFC. But you recognize that this young lady has something special, especially on the ground. But then you look at her skill set, you re realize that she has much more than just jujitsu. But boy, oh boy, if you are spending extended amounts of time on the floor with this young lady, you are constantly in danger. No, you're absolutely right, and we might see more striking out of her here tonight. We know what her bread and butter is, and we expect her to employ that to a great success tonight. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, John Magnum Wiley! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mackenzie Dunn! All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, early round action here, and a lot of people in the fight game believe that when all is said and done, Zhang Wei Li could go down as the greatest strawweight of all time. Her focus tonight, action, pace, pressure. She's not resting on her laurels and everything she's accomplished up to this point in time. She is looking for an explosive finish, and she wants to keep the judges out of things here tonight. All right, early on here in round one, and a nice job by her to immediately get the clinch. Now we'll see if she can change levels and get this fight to the ground. She knew where she needed to be, and she got there. This was the first aspect of the fight that she needed to win, and she has done exactly that. Beautiful straight punch there. Nice straight punch. Right hand landed. They're certainly getting after it early. Nice. Oh, she lands a roundhouse kick there. Didn't see she said she wanted to make a statement. Roundhouse kick would do just that. A roundhouse kick landing will absolutely make a statement. And if it lands in the right spot, it can end your opponent's night. Straight right hand, but she misses. Just unable to quite find that range. Fire there, they all the way into it, and now this could be the beginning of the end for her opponent. It seems like we are in the final act of a four-part play, because this fight is about done. Oh my goodness! Able to check that kick as well. 
All right, well, if you've been watching, you know her uppercut has been absolutely on point here tonight, DC. No reason to think she won't get right back to it. No, she needs to go right back to doing it. It's working. She's very good at it. I think it's her best punch, yeah. and it's shown in this fight. now, DC, if you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to escape? If I'm the bottom fighter, she needs to try and force the top fighter to make an action to create some sort of sequence that... And looks like she's going to attempt the rear naked choke. Oh, it's getting deep. What a sub attempt. Oh, how good is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Massive shot from the top. Plainly getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. She's as good a ground striker as there is in this division. Landed another one there. Turns in half court. She's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Dern's now dealing with a cheek cut. Oh, nice. Great defense to stay safe. Dern's back to the side control now. Great shot from the top position. Oh. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Fire there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there, and not a ton behind it. Now lands a solid punch there. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, man, I'd like to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Oh, good knee. Nice leg kick. Dern's thigh on the outer part really starting to show 
signs of bruising here. She has absorbed a lot of leg kicks here tonight. Oh, going for the takedown here. Trying to kick the leg out. Rips the body there for good measure. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, so a pretty interesting development here in terms of this fighter's evolution. Just as we saw in the last round, primarily a jiu-jitsu athlete having a lot of success with his striking team. He's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down. Three to go round two. She gets to the single collar tie. Look for her to try to move her opponent to find opening to land uppercuts and shots right up the middle. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level. When everything's working, she is as good as anyone in the UFC. Tonight, she is at her peak level. She's got her back now. Just over two minutes to go. Beautiful transition. Durham's able to flatten her out. She could be in real trouble now. She's going for the rear naked choke here. Ooh, she's got a rear naked choke, and it's tight. Oh, great submission defense. Let's work. I'm going to stand this up. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet. And the crowd is absolutely eaten up. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up. And now she's got to let the hands go. That's good defense to block that punch. She has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Well, she seems to be moving okay, but her calf is starting to shift. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get on her bike. Now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade corner for finishing. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Dern's eye starting to swell now. Oh, she's out and I don't mean unconscious. How did she escape? So she backs up here and lets her opponent stand up. Final seconds here of round two. Round three next. Oh. Let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Push kick there to the bottom. Oh, huge shot by her there, probably her 
her best strike of the fight. Her best strike. You don't see this type of power moment in this weight class. If she lands, it's great. Oh! Oh my goodness, she had her again. Great job landing that solid punch. Man, she can hardly stand though. And if she was a step behind before when she was fresh, how do you think she feels now that she's barely able to step on that leg? Oh, she caught the kick. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have finished the fight. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. The game plan, everything's clear now, and we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down a finish. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having would not be easy, but she's got to protect that cup because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. She has no answer, so continue to feed her the question, right hand after right hand from the top position. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the She bottom got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Turns looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. I need you to use that wrist control. And now she's in mount. Nice positional control here. Man, she's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. She's got it very tight. She's going very hard for this arm ball. And she may just get it, but in order to get there, she's got to be patient. And once she gets the arm extended, push her hips up into the back of the elbow to make her tap. Wow, looked like the arm might end the fight. Instead, she gets out. It was over, and that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive Something like that. Hats off to this young lady in her submission defense. Oh, she did it again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not? I mean, why not? It, it, it's worked, and it's worked beautifully. She's done everything correct in this fight, and she really has pulled ahead. Get out of there. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hips, create some space, trip off to the side, re-slide in that half guard so that now she's a little bit safer. Once you're in half, take your underhook, get back to your feet, or Fully recover, full guard. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, good defense, yes. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transitions. Jean's back in full guard. And there you go, again, half guard. Final seconds of round three. Ground and pound strike there now. Attempting a choke now. Now she's got it. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round.
You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. And she caught the kick. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down. that leg kick. Well, confidence has never been an issue for her, but I'm not sure she's ever been this confident after getting that huge knockdown in the previous Well, week. she should be confident. She was landing everything, and then she finally got that knockdown to end the beginning of the earlier round. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. All right, pausing the action here and could be the end of the fight. Her eye is essentially shut, and the doctor's going to be brought in to take a closer look. Well, we don't question her toughness. Even with that swelling, she has continued to press, but it does not seem like there's a path to victory for her. Doctor pulls the referee aside. It looks as though the fight at least is going to continue for now. It's going to continue for right now, but she has got to get going. She will not have much time in this fight because it's only going to get worse. All right, well, she is about as tough as it gets. She wants to stay in this fight, and she will be afforded that opportunity as the referee gets the action back on the way. You can see it in her eyes. Oh, oh she is bubbled now. She's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bison. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get move. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Single leg takedown. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. Jong's back into full guard. Oh, big shots from the top. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Full side control now. Mm, nice. Under two minutes now to go. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this. She's setting up an armbar here. Armbar. Ooh, she's got a tight. Oh, belly down now. There it is. Oh, she got up. She got the submission of defense going. What a beautiful display by this young lady. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Well, she's staying busy, continuing to land ground strikes. There's another one. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control, underhook, and getting back to your feet. 
All right, she's in full guard here, DC, but you know she passes as well as anybody in this division. Oh, man, when she gets to the ground, she has an amazing ability to just be advancing or thinking advancement every single time. But her opponent has a great ability and a great sense of anticipation that when you try to go, she's able to get back to her feet, escape, and get to where she's comfortable. Wayne Lee getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. 20 minutes in the can, There's five stuff. to go. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. Game. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her, and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest level. She scores so hard. She's hurt bad, John. Beautiful leg kick. Bone on bone, nicely done with the high kick. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, the visible damage on her body really starting to develop now. She's got to answer some of these body strikes, or this fight's going to end soon. Well, she's got to block something in return. You can't wait until the attack is finished to try to throw something. You can't wait to try to defend. you got to be first. you got to be first with your offense if you want to deter your opponent from going to these body shots. Really nice job blocking that shot. Nice. Beautiful hip toss there to take her down. She's flying Cormier Airlines She's tonight. She's flying first class. <laughs> she got thrown right on her head. You got to keep those hips back if you're going to defend this position. Man, these ground strikes by her are really starting to take their toll. Got to be careful, armbar. What a tight armbar. Oh, working hard for the armbar now. A lot of takedown defense, or, sorry, submission defense is just being calm and patient. Oh, that looks tight and painful. Oh. She is going to look the And there is the tap. Oh, my goodness. As many style points as you could produce. Whoa. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, this arena is officially on fire right now after what she just did. There are a few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a win by submission, and she got it done with style points here tonight. She got it done with style points, John. This young lady is a submission wizard, and it was on full display tonight as she gets another submission victory. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar, Mackenzie Brown! Oh, well, there she is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is. She was going to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the grapple. 